Hello, I begin this lesson, um, basically, I'm going to begin by saying that I've tried to record this video several times, and I'm really hopeful that it works this time, because if it doesn't, I might just uh, have no choice but to um, attack my computer, take it outside, you know, run over it once or twice. Um, no, I probably wouldn't do that, but <clears throat> but the case is, is that um, I have tried recording this several times, I'm hoping this works. Um, the, basically what I'm going to look at is deductive arguments, and what we're going to look at is you can weigh out the inferential claim if it's valid or invalid, and then you can decide if it's sound or unsound. But the key here is, is that determining if something is valid or invalid is not make any difference if the premises are true or not. Really, the only thing that matters is whether or not the information follows from the premises. And so then sound versus unsound is really a label we give to things that are true versus not true. So in the end, um, there I'm going to give you several examples. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, is it possible, you know, you have true premises and a true conclusion that's both valid and sound. Okay, so valid means that the follows. So an example of this would be all wines are beverages. Okay, that's true. Chardonnay is a wine. That's correct. Therefore, Chardonnay is a beverage. As a matter of fact, that follows. Why? Because if something is a wine, then it's also a beverage, according to this. So, if Chardonnay is a wine, then it's a beverage, therefore Chardonnay is a beverage. The premises are all true, the conclusion is true, and it's a valid form, it follows. But what we can find is we can find you can actually have true premises and a true conclusion, but it's not inferentially valid, it's invalid. An example of this would be saying, like, all wines are beverages, that's true. Chardonnay is a beverage, that's true, therefore Chardonnay is a wine, and that's true as well. Now what happens here is that, um, is that what we have is we have a problem in that this doesn't actually follow. If Chardonnay is a beverage, right, then it doesn't make sense that it has to be a wine, because all be wines are beverages, but there can be beverages that are not wines. As a matter of fact, a beverage could be, uh, you know, a soda, um, or a soft drink, or a beer, or a liquor, and so the uh, the case is is that you know just because Chardonnay is a beverage does not mean that uh, that the, the beverage has to be a wine. If it's a wine, it has to be a beverage, but it doesn't have to work the other way around. And so sh so basically, what happens is is Chardonnay being a beverage does not make it necessarily a wine. It's possible, but it's not necessary. We could do this by switching the word here of Chardonnay to something like ginger ale. If all wines are beverages and ginger ale is a beverage, does ginger ale become a wine? No. We all know ginger ale is not a wine. That would be true premises because ginger ale is a beverage and all wines are beverages, but we see that it doesn't follow out. It doesn't make that last line that ginger ale is a wine. I have that written here, but I forgot to change the word beverage to wine, and so I uh, am just sort of working with that, so that's the example there. So it would be invalid because it doesn't follow. Now could you have true premises, a false conclusion, and a valid argument? And the answer is no, you could not. Why? Because in order for something to be valid, um, <clears throat> in order for something to be valid, the premises, if true, would necessarily mean the conclusion is true. And so if the premises are true, it's valid, the conclusion must be true. You can never have a false conclusion. Now what we can do is we can say, well, is it possible to have false premises and a true conclusion and a valid argument? And the answer is yes. The falsity of the premises does not make the argument invalid. As a matter of fact, you can have false premises and still have a valid argument for. An example is something like all wines are soft drinks. Okay, that's that's uh, not true. Wines are not soft drinks. They're hard drinks or liquors or, or, or uh, alcoholic, and soft drinks are non-alcoholic. Ginger ale is a wine. Also false, but ginger ale is a soft drink. Well, that's true. Now, if we look at this, and we say ginger ale is a wine, and if it's a wine, then it's a soft drink, then it would follow that ginger ale is a soft drink. And so it is a valid form, because this actually does follow from these premises. But we would also say it's unsound. And the reason we say it's unsound is because even though it follows from those premises, <clears throat> it is not the case that it is, even though it follows from those premises, it is not the case that, um, that those premises are true. So what we have to do sort of when we look at validity is we have to assume everything's true and we say, would that follow? 
And don't look at the fact that you already know something's false or you already know something's true and try to use it. Just sort of forget it. A lot of times it's easiest just to sort of throw in other words like all gobbly gooks are, are gobbly lukes and uh, blank is a gobbly gook or what, you know, I mean, whatever you want to make up words. I mean, you know, I, I think maybe words a little simpler than what I just used are better. But if you do that, you can actually see, well, if all widgets are, uh, are, are happy and Stan is a widget, then Stan is happy. And that follows, even though there's no way of knowing the, the veracity of those lines. Same thing can happen. You can have false premises, false conclusion, and still have a valid argument. Example of this is saying, like, all wines are whiskeys. That's false. Ginger ale is a wine. That's false. And ginger ale is a whiskey. Well, that actually follows, because if ginger ale is a wine and all wines are whiskeys, then ginger ale would be a whiskey. And even though it follows, it inferentially follows, it's valid, it is unsound because everything is false. And so you have to keep in mind that validity is about the inferential claim, and sound and unsound is about the truth or falsity. Now, we can also have uh, false premises to a true conclusion that's invalid. Example is all wines are whiskeys, Chardonnay is a whiskey, therefore Chardonnay is a wine. In this case, your premises are false and your conclusion is true, saying like all wines are whiskeys is not true and Chardonnay is a whiskey is not true, but, and furthermore, if Chardonnay is a whiskey, that doesn't make it a wine. So that makes it both invalid and unsound. And we can also change that to ginger ale like we did previously, and we again get that same format. All right, thank you.